Uh, I think it, it will be hard work because according to my schedule, like we train every day except for Tuesday. Okay. And on the weekends, we have games. Sorry, uh, is it? No, sorry, on Wednesdays we have off. Uh, I aim to improve myself as a player overall because mm -hmm. I mean, um, coming from a local club uh, into an international club that's known to play rugby, there'll be a lot of things to learn. Yeah. So I can't really put my finger on specifics of what I want to uh, improve on, but overall as a player mostly, uh, skills, speed, since um, they've put that down in the, in the schedule mm -hmm. <laughs> to do speed training more. Yeah. As well as ball skills and just um, overall like gameplay, like my vision to, <coughs> to see things yeah. In a more rugby perspective mm -hmm. than I do at the moment. Training's been getting easier, but our pre season's really hard now since we signed up with uh, Vogue Fitness. It's an ex they're external people, like they're not they're not uh, from the Saracens. Mm -hmm. They're just like uh, they started their own fitness group I yeah. think, this year or last year. Yeah. And it's like two two players that play for the Quins. Uh, Billy, Billy Graham and Patrick, Patrick, oh, I don't know his surname. Yeah. But, uh, they started a fitness, a fitness like uh, business together. Yeah. And they take us Mondays and Wednesdays, and they have like other people, kind of like Haddens in Abu Dhabi. I've got one tomorrow extra just before I leave. Uh, for me, it was, it was pretty difficult. Well, mm -hmm. I found it hard and pretty scary yeah. because coming from like, the 18s, like we never really gym. Well, I didn't really gym at that stage, and I yeah. was really small compared to all the other players. Mm -hmm. But it was very intimidating, and I I was scared. But it was a step that needed to be taken. Yeah. To get further in the rugby career. From then, compared to now, mm -hmm. I would say size doesn't really matter that much now that I see it. It's more skill and the way that you approach things. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I mean, every guy goes down, the bigger they are, the harder they fall, right? Yeah. That's so, right. just gotta put your head down, get in the tackle and put him down. time I wasn't happy with how um, how one of the coaches was um, not letting really anyone new into the team like mm -hmm. his first team for the men okay it was, it was always like it was always um, how do you say like it was always you could always tell who was going to be in the first team yeah yeah whereas now because they've got a new coach you've got a um, train hard and you've got to fight for your position. Yeah. Whereas that wasn't the case when I was playing for them. Mm -hmm. But I moved okay. to another club that offered more of an opportunity to get into the first team. The Saracens are fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, it's, the, it's, it's a new club and it's really improving. Yeah. I mean, okay. they've come a long way and especially during games, um, we're, we're, we're pretty much like a first half team. Okay. It's like called the first half team. We're normally dominating the game in the in the first half, and we're winning by the first half. Mm -hmm. And then the second half, our fitness just doesn't take us all the way. Yeah. But that's why we started with the Vogue Fitness program to improve our fitness from preseason. Yeah. To get going by September. To